Hello there again folks, this is your host and friend Normandy Junction welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic Slash Titanic and today we are going to be working on the guts of the ship, the bottom of the ship which is the boiler rooms so from boiler room 1 to 6. Now I have covered in a previous video that I did do some of boiler room 1 which we're going to finish today we're also going to do the layout of boiler rooms from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the coal bunkers and some of the shafts that lead to the foot funnels to extract the smoke as well. Okay. Um, before I get started, I want to thank you all for joining my channel and all my new subscribers. I'm approaching the, I've got over the 900 subscriber mark. Thank you very much. That is absolutely fantastic, and I'm very grateful as well. Uh, I also want to do a couple of shout outs. The first one is to a Mr. Herb53, who has been building the ship, which I've checked out his channel as well. So I'm doing some nice comments as well and guiding him in some help and in how to do the design as well if he's got into any trouble. Uh, but say give his channel I'll leave a link in the description below to, about his channel uh, if you want to go over to his channel give him a like and subscribe in his videos uh, show a bit of support to our fellow youtubers or to a sh also to a shadow slayer 12 who's also joined YouTube and has left in a few comments for me as well so like I say I think we all should help each other give each other a sub give each other a like and help with the views uh, as I say we all deserve it all deserve a bit of success on this on this platform <laughs> Uh, but like I say, uh, let's get on with the build. So what I've done is I have completed the uh, starboard side of the bottom of the hull here. And I've also named it as well with the frame numbers as well. So I don't get a little confused so I know where I'm going. So what you need to do, we're going to focus on frame 30 of the stern. And it goes all the way up to, to the bow of 78, which I'll just fall, quickly fly over here now. So this is the air we're going to come today. So it might be another long video, folks. So I'll try to be quick as I can as I build this. Uh, but like I say, if you have um, built uh, the starboard side, so like I say, we can make a quick start right away. If not, please do so, because like I say, this will be a bit of a long build. So there we go. We're up to 78 on the bow. So let's fly over back to 30. So we're going to start on boiler room number one. So like I say, I'll do the layout of each individual boiler room now and the. Um, doorways as well for the watertight bulkheads uh, if I gain access from the first boiler room all the way up to number six uh, there'll also be the entrance to the fireman's passage and the entrance to the engine room as well but like I say we're just going to start here so first of all get yourself an orange concrete and get yourself to frame number 38 sorry not 38 30 <laughs> okay so we're just basically going to lay down here lay down a line go all the way up to the end you've probably already done this already I just thought I'd fill it in now for you. Uh, like I said, I've only done it up to the two, first two lines here. It makes it easier for this video to build. Like I say, it just makes it a lot more easier. And also now, so we're going to finish off the layout. So you need to come to frame number 22. And put a block down here and move it right across. And there you go. So that is the complete layout of boiler room number one. Now, like I say in the previous video, I have shown you how to do the boilers as well. But like I say, I'll put a quick link in the channel description below. So we do know how to build the boilers. But like I say, in boiler room number one, this one here, the open furnaces were just on one side. They weren't at the back. But at boiler rooms two, three, four, five, and six, they were double-ended, which means they have boilers, uh, furnaces on both sides and so but for so for this one here it's just a single one facing inward okay so like I said we'll just quickly finish the layout of this one so you need your block of quartz now you need to go out individually so that's five six seven eight nine so I need to go out by nine so that's one two three four five six seven eight start again one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you go back along at least I think it's it 15 or 17 I think it's 17 so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 there we go 17 so join it up there that's the first one now same again leave the gap at 2 and once again go across by at least um, I can't get my words out today I am suffering a bit of a cold today folks so I do apologize but I can say it's getting a little hard to breathe. Six, nine, ten, three, six, nine, nineteen, nineteen across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a grey blockhead to indicate the centre. And another eight as well. One, three, six, seven, eight, 
three, six, and seven, eight, nine. I do apologize, it was nine. So that one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So it's three, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then join up, go towards the back, so it lands that on, onto this frame. It goes on to basically frame number 29, so we can join that up as well. Uh, put a block there to indicate the centre, and let's get towards here as well. <coughs> I do apologise folks, I'm really not feeling well today, but I do need to get this filming done for you guys. Okay, so that's another what level layout of the boiler done. Okay, so just leave a gap of two again from this corner. Another block here. So you need to go inwards by nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, indicate a center block there and go out by nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you work your way inwards. So come along here. So that's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then work your way across, indicate the centre line there with a block there, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so there should be a gap there of 1 on frame number 29 from the step, and each join up from the centre, so that is, there was 5 boilers, individual boilers located in boiler room 1, in fact, in each boiler room there are five, except for boiler room number six at the end, which only had four. Right, so now I'm going to keep now where the door is. So let me just get, my, let me get familiar with my notes again. <laughs> okay, so starting from frame number 22. Okay, so let me just get my frame bearings right here, 22. Yep, you need to go inwards by 40. So that's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'll leave my block there, so it's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 40. Okay, now you need to remove the next 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 leave a block there now what I'll use here is smooth stone now on the outside you need to build a frame so that's one two three four five six seven seven blocks up one two three four five six seven okay now on the seventh block you're going across so it's three six seven well you need to add a temporary block as well so that one there and you need to go six across that's one two three four five six and put a temporary block there. If I'll leave them there, it makes the doorway nice. So the doorway is at least seven blocks out, because like I say, for every door we're doing here on the Titanic and the Olympic, uh, the actual frame is going to be seven, seven blocks high. Okay, so I've said this is going to be the doorway now, so we've got a six block width, and all you need to do is get your orange concrete, go straight across, and join it up to this frame here, which is frame number, let's go check my notes. 15 so we're on 15 so we can join up here from the center and go along here as well there we go and uh, we just join all the way to the end here and remove the stair and it looks like that so this as i say this is the coal bunkers so if you come to frame number 18 which is this one here you just make a block here and you join it up to the outside frame as well so basically this is going to be a wall in the middle so basically all this coal here is going to service basically these two boilers and it's the same for that lot of coal there it's going to service those three boilers but we do need to do the doorway as well but i'll have to probably do that in a later video okay so like i say if we come to this edge here get your smooth stone and do one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven make a temporary block temporary block and then we just get smooth sound again going across so what we need to do now is once again get your orange concrete now going inwards so basically we just join up from here there we go and we join up from there as well there we go and once again 
Like I say, you just need to join these lines up here to separate the coal bunkers. Okay, now the orange line itself was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks high. So this is already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on the top here, that's a ninth, ninth row. You can just join it up. And obviously, if you're struggling for light, as I say, rather than use sea lantern, as I say, a great suggestion I think was, was Mr. Herb, was uh, the kid just do light blocks, give light. That's how it looks like on my skin pack. Okay, and then you just fill up the interior walls here. So forth and so forth. And you do the inside as well. So I'll just move that one. Go along the inside. And don't forget to fill this up as well. Okay, so I'll be as quick as I can here. So just fill that line there. And when you get to the top, Okay. So when you get to the top here, so like I say, we're still going upwards. Okay. So basically when you get to the top here, we just need to fill in the roof. Which is like so like this. Hang on, let's just make another line here. So we're on top, sorry, not on top of the smooth stone. I'll just put some light there so we can see. So you join up on the back here. And then you just start filling it in. Okay. <sighs> like I, said, I might have to speed up some of the video, guys, just to, as I can say, I don't want to drag it out forever. But you're getting the idea. So, like I say, once you've completed the roof section of the tunnel, there we go. Okay, so once it looks like this, basically. So I'll fill in this side as we go. Like I say, you just need to go continue with the line here that separates the two coal bunkers. Just make sure you get it all the way to the top of the tunnel. And remember that is on frame 18. So basically when it looks like this, you continue with this separation here going right across. And you just need to basically fill it up here. You can take this all the way up to the top like it is exactly like the opposite frame here all the way up there but obviously when you get to a certain height you need to change it to light gray which i should have done on this line basically guys i'll just replace it now so like i say on the top of this roof here you can just fill it with coal but what i mean is this bit here i'll just pull this line across that one up there there we go fill it in as I say fill it in as we go along here and make sure you do the separation like I say you just fill all this area up here with coal and all this area here with coal as well but like I say it needs to go very high up all that to at least halfway along the side of the hole back to this height well I'll get some more light here it's quite helpful this give like uh, block i never knew about this it's like i say i'm just learning as i go as well there you go loads of coal like i said the olympic was converted to um, oil but i'm doing this in the 1911 uh layout so as it were when she was fresh out the dock right okay so what i'll do now i'll just finish off here i'll do a quick jump cup and then we'll move on to the layout of bullet room number two Okay, so we're up to this stage now, which should look like this. Now, I haven't gone right to the top for the purposes of filming, because I want you to see as much as possible. Well, like I say, this is what the inside of the coal bunkers look like for boiler room number one on the starboard side, and for boiler room number two on the starboard side as well. And also with the doorway here, it should look like this. It is a simple corridor, and what are you, if you want to do for, for cosmetic, whenever you see a frame, just put some buttons going upwards. Makes it more like, you know, the guts of a ship, basically. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But for, you know, basically, if you want to make it look a bit more like a ship. You know, this is the steam room, this is where the uh, heartbeat of the ship is, the life of the ship. 
and we'll go and make it more like a ship as well. So uh, you can do that if you want to. It's entirely up to do, up to you if you want to. But like I say, let's move on to boiler room number two. Oh, please excuse me. Like I say I'm really not feeling good. Right, so I'll get back to you. Get to a light concrete block. You need to come to frame number twelve, which is this one here. Frame number twelve. Come to the center line. I basically put a block down here. This is where we're going to allocate the boilers. Uh, for this one here, you go on nine to each side again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you leave a gap of two and time put down another. Was it a gap of two? Let me just double check. Yes, it was a gap of two. Okay. And then you leave a gap of two. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Oh, I'm with me today. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Concrete block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leave a gap of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Con concrete block. Great one. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be a gap there, which there is. Thank you. Same again for the other side. So we're doing nine. Going towards the starboard side, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leave a gap of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great concrete block. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a gap of two. Last boiler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. So that's the five boilers laid out in the front. And like I say, it is 27 across. So that's going to be because these boilers are bigger than the one in boiler room one. Like I say, there's going to be furnaces on this side and furnaces on the other side. But like I say, I have done a video already how to build the boilers, which I'll leave a link in the description below. And like I said, there's no point in me building the boilers again when there's already a video all about it. Okay, so these bullets now are going to go roughly about 25 across. So, so that's, that's, that's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's double check my calculations here, guys. Because I am doubting myself because I'm really not feeling well. Uh, 8, 16, 17. Okay. No, I think it is a bit more than 25. I think it's 27. Yeah, it's 27. Okay, so that's double 27. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 13, 16, 19, 20, 23, 26, 27. There we go, yeah, 27. Right, so this frame here we're on here. Okay. So that's frame number five. You need to come to the frame number three, which is here. And in between frame three and the frame number two, get your orange concrete and put a block down the middle, which is here. Okay, now you need to spread this all the way to the end. This is basically the line that separates the end of boiler room number two. Okay, so what I'll do now, okay, so that's how you see the whole boiler room number two there. I say all you need to do now is basically uh, you need to just finish off the rest of the boilers here. So which we'll do that now. So basically come this right across. I mean, another easy way to do this is just do a quartz line, go right the length of the room, as so, until we get to the other side, which we're roughly about here. So be a gap roughly there. So there's a gap about one, two, three, four blocks on the edge. And then we just join it before each, each one off as we go. So that's the first one. There you go. And then just do the next two along. So I'll do that one there. Then remove two blocks and join it up here. And then same again. Remove the blocks. 
And join up again from the centre one. There we go. And same again. Remove those two. And once again, there we go. So we just need to move those two there. And that is the layout of the five boilers where they're going to be allocated in boiler room number two. Okay, so let's do the passageway now. So very easy. I mean, you could just make them make them align. Make sure you follow the line here. And then on this block, then remove the six. So that's one should join up to this one, which it does. And like I say again, get your smooth stone here. Go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll put some like that to see what we're doing. Temporary block. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Temporary block. And once again, same as before. But I'll just do the next two lines which join up the next two boilers. Sorry, the two coal bunkers. So the next coal bunker, the center that's going to separate them is on let me get my bearings here yeah it's frame number three towards the bow because he's here frame one frame one we're in the center of the ship so you need to find frame three for the bow so I'll just move the staircase there orange concrete going straight across there we go till we get to the end move that staircase so that's the center halfway so you can join up the two lines here, the two walls. There we go. Okay, and remove the interior six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, so that's that coal bunker there for boiler room number two. And the same for the other side. So all we need to do now is just put the last wall in, which is on frame number six of the bow. So that's down five, that's number six. Move the stairs go going straight across all the way up to the end there we go and move that one as well and once again just line it up nicely and remove the interior six and join them up there we go there you go so like I say get your smooth stone on the outside of the wall like that so we'll see what we're doing smooth still got by seven one two three four five six seven other side on here one two three four five six seven okay temporary block on the top of both still a bit dark yeah, i'll do very helpful these give lights it saves over all those sea lanterns smooth stone goes straight across from the top and like the previous build over there it's the same you just join up as well all the way up to the top okay but what I'll do first I'll just finish doing the layout of all the boiler rooms and then I'll go through each one with you okay right so that's boiler room number two and its layout now we're on to boiler room number three now boiler room number three okay it's got a bit of a slight difference towards the edge so what you need to do is find frame number 19 which is 16, 17, 18, 19. 19, remove the stairs, get your orange block, and you need to go out by five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Then three to the left, so that's only one there, so that's one, two, three. Okay? And what you need to do now is do the same for the other side, basically the port side. Remove the staircase, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, and then join it up. Okay. It was a bit of an odd shape when I looked at the deck plans myself, but this is what it is. There you go. So it should look like that. Okay. And once again, the doorway as well. I mean, it is also, if you want to go off the center, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the left. Or, you know, seven to the right, depends on how you look at it. So that's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then remove one, two, three, four, five, six. Get your smooth stone, block there, block there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, temporary block, one, two, three, four, five, six. Have I gone too high? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have. Silly me. Okay. I mean, it depends how I do it. I mean, if you want to go draw a line all the way through the center of the ship, by all means. Well, that's just how I do it. So, we're going to do with the layout of the boilers now. So, this is boiler room number three. Okay. And you need, let me get my number straight here, frame number nine, which is here. And once again, this is a good reference point. Put a center block there. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. There we go. Same again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then twenty-seven across. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay. So it should be in between frames. Check my notes here again. Uh, fifteen, six. Yep, yeah, fifteen and sixteen. We're halfway across. So. We can just join that up towards the centre. Put a block there. Block across. There we go. Join it up nicely. Done. And then leave a gap of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got three block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gap of two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Concrete block, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there should be a gap of one, which is pretty much the same for over here. Gap of two there. But obviously, because they obviously, because you see that the, the whole of the ship is curving inwards here, this is the center of the ship. So it is correct. All right, so like I say, I'll leave those two references I'll just do the same here so say gap of two one two three four five six six seven eight nine concrete block one two three four five six seven eight nine gap of two one two three four five six seven eight nine gap of two one two three four five six and seven oh so what am I doing So yeah, so it's gap of nine, gap of two, nine, single concrete block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. So like I said, I won't do it all on the video there. I'll do it in the jump cut for you. So it's the same sort of layout. So that's boiler room number three and how it should look like. Now let's go to the coal bunkers now between three and four. The next line is line number 22. Get your orange concrete block, 22 there. Remove the stair. Okay, just drag all the way across. There you go. So remove the staircase. So let's zoom out a bit. What should look like. So let's just join up on the uh, entrance of the of the boiler room. So let's remove those six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and join it up there. Okay, now the start of bullet room number four is on number 25, which should be about two across there. Okay, so it's very good. It's very important to number your frames, guys, when you're doing this build, because you do get lost. Okay, so let's join it up there. So there should be a gap of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, put a block there, block there. Join it up nicely. Once again, smooth stone or any block you like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Temporary block. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. That's another corridor done. Right. So let's join that up while here. All the way across. And remove this there. Like I say. You just build up, build up these walls to where the grey concrete line is. 
Okay, so that's boiler room. So we're on boiler room number four. Okay, so boiler room number four. You need to go to frame 28, which is right here. Once again, it's the same with the boilers, guys. Leave a block there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's 25 across. That's one. So 27, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grey concrete block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And join it right across. Okay, and let's continue on that. I'll just, uh, so people's going a bit slow there. Don't think you can take much more. <laughs> so that's how, the, once again, you need to do the same, same as the previous boiler room. Two more to the right, two more to the left. And then we'll just soldier, soldier roll on. So there's five boiler rooms, like I say, five boilers in each boiler room, except for boiler room number six, but there's four. Right, so let's find the wall now. It's in between 37 and 38. So 37, 38, there we go. So get the middle block there. Put it right across the whole chip. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. I'll do the next line as well. Might as well do it all in one go. It's on line 41, frame 41. So let's find frame 41, which is here. Move the stair, go right across. Whole line sends from the ship. Move the stair, there we go. And the last one is between 44 and 45. 44 and 45. So there is 45 and 44. Middle block, go straight across, there we go. Going and going and going. Okay, oh, that's that done. Okay, and once again, if you just want to get to the center block here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Move one, two, three, four, five, six. And then once again, smooth stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Temporary block. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Move that block. Okay, and then once again, just join it up all up for the next corridor until when you get to the edge, and then remove the inner six, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join up both ends. There we go, so it should look like that. And let's do the doorway as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Temporary block. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so we just got. So what are we on to now? So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. So this is boiler room number five. And same as usual but it starts on between frames 47 and 48. So let's find frame 47. There we go, 47. So it starts, hang on, let's change the block there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 27 across, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it ends up nicely on frame 54. So let's join it all up. And from this edge as well. Oh, pardon me, folks. Okay. There we go and same again gap of two each side as you do them like i say there'll be five bases there in total same as the other boiler rooms as well right so the wall is on frame 57 
time frame 57 56 57 remove this case go straight across there we go right remove that block all right so that's the first bit done right so now the the inner line is on frame 60. So I'm going to try it all, up, all the way across here. And there we go. And the last one is on 62. Uh, no, sorry, between 62 and 63. Alright, so that's 61, 62, 63. Find the middle block there. Go straight across. go up nicely and once again folks if you just want to go off the center line here the center axis of the ship one two three four five six seven and then remove the next six one two three four five six and join up the walls there we go okay same routine so let's remove those six Ooh, got rid of a block there. I'll replace that. And these six as well. And now get your smooth stone. Uh, smooth stone. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven. Uh, temporary block. Three, four, five, six. And the other side as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Temporary block. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. So we're into bullet room number six now. Now I'm just going to pause this recording there. I'm going to do a jump cut because I'm going to bring all these walls and the bases well up today. So I'll be back in a moment, folks. Right, folks. So we should look in at this now. We're now completed boiler rooms one, two, three, four, and five for the base, the coal bunkers, and the tunnel. Oh, well, I'm just going to give a quick fly over. I've only done up to the first line, the um, you know the grey lines here, which is red on the outside, the concrete. So I've only gone this high. Because I need to show you for filming purposes, like obviously the boilers and the chutes going up to the funnels. So this is how they should look. Uh, like I say, I haven't done the wall yet on the here. It's just like I say, just to show you for filming purposes. But uh, yep, those are the coal bunkers between boiler rooms five and six, and that is between four and five. And this is between three and four. And this is between two and three. And final one is between one and two. So we're just going to go over to boiler room back now to boiler room number six. Then what I'll do, I'll fly through the tunnel here. Meow. Show you what I've been doing. Okay. So it's like a straight corridor all the way through. So I still need to do some here. Obviously, just do it with the buttons all the way up like that oh make two mistakes already there you go I'll fix it in a minute that'll fix it now there we go right so on to boiler room number six now there's only four boilers in boiler room number six okay in a famous boiler room so here on the starboard side where the iceberg hit and the water came in so you go to the center keel here we need to start between frames 65 and 66 so I'm just find them on here so they're 66 and 65 so we we'll go towards the middle get a great concrete block so it's in the middle just there okay and then you need to go you need to have a gap of three uh, what I mean by that is like one there one there put your first quart blocks here and the quart blocks there and then we need to do a nine so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine great concrete block one two three four five six seven eight nine and then go back to the center here get rid of that temporary three so it's 27 again so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
there we go so it should end up on frame 72 so I'm just getting my bearings again yep frame 72 so let's join it all up there we go and then go straight across to the from the left to the right so like I say yep it's it's basically uh, 19 blocks in total going across and 27 going the length okay so a gap of two now so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine I've gray block down one two three four five six seven eight nine and pull it right across again there we go so I'll leave a gap of two there there we go put it right across here and joining up towards the center okay done so it should look like that so that's two of the boilers done oh about as well folks well, i just want to point out when you're doing it in boiler room number five when you're doing this side you will have to get rid of some of the stair these stair blocks here as well to accommodate towards the wall so don't panic in case you think you've done it wrong you haven't basically some of the steps just need to be removed okay so i thought i'd clear that up first so let's do the other side now so once again we'll go towards the right now so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine Gray block one two three four five six seven eight nine you leave a gap of two one two three four five six seven eight nine and one two three four five six seven eight nine there we go and once again a whole 27 going across back use that frame there and also we'll be on frame number 70, 72 so I'll pull it back across again. Uh, gray block there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gap of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll just join it all up. So like I say, I do apologize for the sound of my voice. I am suffering from a heavy cold. It's really hard to talk and breathe at the same time. I should have waited, but I just wanted to crack on with this. Right. right then, so that's the four boilers. Now, we're going to do the wall now. That leads to the Fireman's Passage. That's the passage that leads towards basically two sets of staircases. Well, you know, like a spiral staircase. And it leads towards basically the boiler rooms and their duty posts. Right, so what you need to do, go back to your orange concrete, which is here. So we need frame 75. So let me just find it on here. There we go. I'm just on it now, so I've smoothed the staircase there. there go straight across. Whole whip for the ship. Like I say, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers again. Thank you for joining my channel. It does mean the world to me. And I'll say I'm another 900 mark now. I thought that was amazing. Okay, so going, continue on. So we go back to frame 78, which I think is the last one. There it is. Yes, 78. Now there is no. This is the last of the bunkers here, you see, so it's just going to be one whole bunker. Okay, so just go straight across all the way to the side of the ship. And obviously to remove the stairs, I don't know why I've got to get there, just fill it in. Okay, so towards the middle, centre axle, which is here, we need to have a gap, I think it's four on each side, let me just double check my notes, yes it is, it's four on each side, so I'll remove the one. One, two, three, four. One, two three four okay and after that you need to go one block in there and there and now we need to go one block in again well one block going backwards <laughs> so there should be a gap of 12 so let's double check so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's correct so what i mean by is you need to put a block here and a block there and work your way towards the center and remove those three should be a gap of about seven okay there we go because obviously there's going to be a center rail here and there's like a passageway like going into the boiler room and a passageway going out of the boiler room so one you know so they don't like crisscross each other or anything like that but there is a center doorway here so let's get your smooth stone and it's going to be one two three four five six because we've already got a block down that'll be the seventh one so I'll remove that one one two three four five six seven temporary block put a block on top 
go straight across there we go and what we need to do now is basically we just need to fill it in all the way across uh, remove any stairs where you see to join up this wall but like I say I still need to do the entrances to the coal bunkers so that will be done in, in another video so let's continue on okay okay now so what I'm going to do now is I'll do a jump cut like I said I only want to go up to as high as this grey line here so what I'll do I'll just pull that straight across as well while we speak because I'd say that will accomplish the entire length width of the ship but like I said I need to obviously raise these frames here so it's business as usual folks okay so like I say all we need to do now is I'll concentrate around this entrance here so if you just fill it across like this and towards the back as well these lead to the cargo holds so I'm just using that as an example so we'll go straight across there and back again but once you come up to the grey line obviously change over to grey concrete and continue as normal not too long to go now in fact what I'll do like I said I'll just concentrate around this doorway here for you guys so there's the one two three four to go okay so one two three and then put a block there and then the fourth one just goes straight on top so basically the last orange line goes over the hatch so to speak so that'll cover that as well so one there cover these up there we go so it should look like that excellent so like I say just continue on completing the walls okay and obviously when you get to this roof section here you just fill it in by going over the smooth stone like that all that makes sense <laughs> there we go so I'll just fill that straight across there. Like I said, all the coal will be on top of it. And we'll put some more lights on so you can see. Very handy this block. I'm very, very happy you found this out. It saves all those sea lanterns. <laughs> right, okay, so. The next stage is we need to put a floor down. Let's bear with me, it's nearly there. There we go, completed. And then obviously you've got to do this section as well. These two walls go all the way. Just go all the way up to the grey line now. There's another one over here. Which is that one. Just pull it right across. Right, so what we need to do now is, obviously we need to make it a bit more like of a boiler room. Well, we'll do the boilers in just a moment, but ne what I need ne next for you to do is I use wall carpet. Because of the mod pack I use, the skin pack, it gives me this like grid, like sort of grid um, texture like that. So what I need you to do, folks, if you can find something similar, if you have got this mod pack, please use it. If not, go for a black wool or grey wool. Basically, we're going to cover every square centimetre, each block that's in the boiler rooms, except for the ones that are actually in the boilers. Okay, so there we go. Just using mine my, my as an example, just some quick examples there. So it's like that, you see? And also we've got to do 
all of this. So this is going to keep me occupied for a while for you. And go, as I say, go all the way, all the way to frame 78. So we can just fill in the section here. I'll leave that frame down, uh, that signpost there. And you'll see, just go around all the doorways in between every single boiler room like this. The only thing we're not covering is these sections here. We don't need to fill them in. All right, so like I say, you need to go for all the way doorways here. I might as well just fill some in while I show you where you got to go. Okay, let's go between each doorway all the way up to the back of the ship to the first boiler room. Let's keep going, 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 and going. Like I say, there's a lot to do. Like I say, I'll do it for you. But I'll say I have to do a jump cut. So here we go, we get straight to the end. I mean, there is going to be another doorway here that leads to the engine room, but we're not at the engine room just yet, so I'm going to leave the doorway there for now. Like I say, as I've seen here, please fill in all this section here. So I'll do another tr quick jump cut. So like I said, this might take me a couple of hours, but thank, thank you to the marvellous world of editing. It'll just be a few seconds for you. So I will be back in a moment. Right, there you go, folks. That's the floor now all nicely laid down, and it did take a little while. <laughs> Uh, but we're now on to the next part of the build, which is actually the boilers, uh, all 29 of them. Now, in my previous videos, I have done a video in how to build the boiler, boilers. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you just need to remember, um, if you need to recap on that video, like I said, I'll post a link in the description. I'll even try and put it on the video somehow. Uh, but like I said, what you need to do, you do need to watch it if you're not familiar with the videos. Please ignore that. Uh, if you're not familiar with the videos, like I say, just uh, head, head along and, you know, give it a good view. Make sure you're all familiar with it. And like I say, um, say Boiler Room 1, there's five boilers and there's five in Boiler Rooms 2, 3, 4 and 5 and only four in six. But in Boiler Room 1, you only need to put one side with the open vents, you know, the open hatches to put the coal in for the fires. But on every other boiler room, you need to do it on both sides. Okay, so I will start building all the boilers now, and then we'll head into the final part of the video. Okay, we'll back in a moment. Right, folks, that's it. That is all 29 boilers completed, and I have to say this: it took me five days. So, thanks to the beautiful art of editing, this was only a few seconds for you, but it's been a very long five days to do 29 boilers. So, like I say, give yourself some time doing these folks, because it does take a little time. Like I say, I do this in my spare time, so it's longer for me, but thank you for bearing with me. So, this is what it should look like now. So, this is like, say, Boiler Room 6, going back down to Boiler Room 1 at the end there. Uh, there is one slight change difference, which I have done for these boilers. Like I say, I've posted the link in the description of the video of the tutorial, how I built the boilers. But I used, like, stone brick as a skin for I use this as an example I haven't completed boiler room one yet so like I say in the original video here I use stone brick but like I say for this build I think using this black concrete will do just this well I mean it does look pretty nice but you might have to put some like give light blocks which I've done here just to light up a bit more so you can see it a bit clearly but there you go so like I say yep yeah, all the fires are in the magna blocks I've lit it up there so yes it is starting to look a bit more like a boiler room so what you'll need to do as well on the inside skin with your buttons like I say we've done here in boiler room one just put like a line of uh, buttons on going on both sides which I'll do for you now just to give you a bit of an example if we go down to here just work your way up slowly but surely go all the way to the top let's let's get it more looking like a ship okay and just like that as well. So that goes all the way to the top, just below where uh, if it's G deck, basically to the top of this bunker here. Okay. Now I haven't done the uh, other side of the bunkers here because I say we still need to do one more job before the end of this video. And it's another long one, I'm afraid. So it might take me another day. It's the ventilation shafts that connect the boiler to basically the chimneys of the ship here. Uh, but like I say, we're only going to do like the connection to the boiler to the vent. We're not going to do the vent to the funnel. Uh, I'll have to do that in another video because the video will just be too long and I will need another part. Okay. So what I need to do on each boiler, 
Get yourself some grey steps, um, well in this case polished andesite stair, I can't still say it, but get yourself some grey stairs and on the centre block there of each boiler, put one in the middle and three to the left and three to the right. So there's seven in total, seven in length, and then get great light grey concrete, go right across, do the same again, do another seven, and once again do another set there, and then once again do another set and then do a fourth, fourth row and on your stairs do another fourth row and then do another grey block and do a fifth row so you should have in total a five a row of five so that's one two three four five now on the sides get your grey concrete again just put fill in the, the sides here which I'm doing for you and the other side as well there you go just like that okay now what you need to do next is put a block at the top here and a block at the top there, go right across, okay, and then go all the way around the edge as like this, there we go, so it should look like that, and you just need to put one more block here and one more block there and give yourself a different colour concrete, so I'll use grey here, move the centre block and put a line there so you get an idea where the centre is. And from these corners again, go straight across. So like I say, it goes inward and then work your way around. There you go, so it should look like that. Right, and once again with a different, different grey concrete, move that block, put it there so you know where the centre is. And if you can work your way down, just remove these one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five two three four five I mean what you can do really is get your magna blocks and basically fill out the entire boiler and light it all up it's just like I said to give the effect of basically it's the shoot basically it's going all the way so um, what you need to do is get your, get your great concrete again work to the top of the boiler I'll just remove that I did that wrong so it's just level just like that okay we're not going to go any further than this so there you go so once again, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if you go from this block here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, so it'd be six blocks height. There you go, so let's fill that in. And fill that in as well. There we go. side as well there you go and well, that's the ventilation uh, well the shaft that's going to connect the smoke and that to take it to the funnel here so this is boiler room two we're in here so that'll be going to the third funnel now because one and two boiler rooms were connected to the first third funnel uh th boiler rooms three and four were connected to the second and five and six at the end there were connected to, to the first funnel uh but like i say this olympic design is 1911 so it should still be running on coal uh, because later on in life she was converted to oil uh, but like I said this is the 1911 design so like I said I'll just do one more ch a trial here for you so we'll just do the other side okay so on the block here you just need to get your stairs and go one two put one in the middle then go one two three one two three get your grey concrete blocks go straight across get your steps again go straight across and do another line of blocks there and more steps grey concrete again steps going across so that's four rows there line of concrete and there you go so there should be five in total so that's one two three four five and once again get your light concrete just fill in the edges till you flush like that there you go and then just basically put a block here and a block there, go right across. And once again, go all the way around the perimeter. And when you get to the middle block there, change the color. And there you go, go around again. And the next bit is put a block here and a block there. Go right across the gap and work your way around to the top of the boiler. Just change the middle one here to a, a different style of concrete colour. So you can raise that to the top. 
raise that to the top and you like grey concrete there you go and fill it all up until you get to the top there so like I say for the sake of the video <laughs> I'm going to have to do another jump cut while I get them all completed which is going to take a while as they normally do Go. I say I was hoping to keep my video short, but like I say, I do go into detail. I love doing that. It's something I love doing, and I just want to show how it's done. But like I say, there we go. So it should look like this from these both sides. Obviously, when you do boiler in one, you only do one side because there's only one side of boilers. But from two, three, four, five, and six, they're double sided. Okay, and obviously as well, this gap here at the bottom, which you'll see. Okay. You can fill that in whatever colour concrete you want. So for me, I'll just stick with the light grey. There you go. It just, just basically gets rid of the white. But like I say, you can do it any colour you like. You don't have to copy me. Well, you can copy I me. Mean, I do how I do it. But how I fill it in, it's entirely up to you. There you go. I'll just fill this side as well. Ah, right, so I'm going to go grab a cup of tea now, but like I say, it will be a jump cut again, folks, so I've got some more building to do. Uh, there we go. So I might stick a bit of Netflix on. I might watch some Star Trek. Right, so like I said, I'll get on with that now, so I'll be back in just a moment while I finish off all of these to do. Right. I'll be back. And there we go, folks. It's taken me another day in my spare time. But all the shoots for all the 29 boilers are now on. So I'll just do a little flyover now to show where we're up to. Like I say, probably in the next video, I'll be doing the shafts that link up to the funnels and the end of the coal bunkers as well. But like I say, on the, uh, the starboard side, you can uh, extend the wall now, the outer shell, all the way up to this first line of sea lanterns which I'll probably do uh, while, while I prepare for the next video. But like I say, yes, uh, sorry it's been another long one, but if you like what you've liked, uh, you know, please consider giving the, ch uh, the video a like, and if you're new to the channel, please give, consider subscribe. So, like I say, it's been a, few, a lot of few days of hard work, consider battling a cold as well. So, did a bit of suffering, but, uh, you know, it was worth it in the end. But there we go. So that is now the boiler rooms, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six complete. And the coal bunkers as well at the bottom of the ship. So, yes, we have done great progress. So, like I say, you know, if you like what you like, you know, please tell your friends about it. If you can share about it. And even subscribe to my channel. It just help me a lot. So, like I say, I'm going to leave it there now. So, I'll prepare for the next video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.